Chandler be any connection between an Arduino and a keyboard? Yeah, of course it's possible. That's all the video is about. Every keyboard will have four wires, two for the power up and two for the signal. After completing all of the connections, it's now time to upload the code. The link to the code is given in the description. Now open the serial monitor, press each key of the keyboard and note down its value. Now instead of 0, backspace the 0 and enter each key's value. Now re-upload the code and that is how our coding process finishes. Here, after pressing one key, the motor will continuously spin until you press spacebar which releases the motors that is makes the motor stop moving. A keyboard car is not very easy to carry around. It is not portable and is very fragile and is very complicated to make. But what if you wanted to make all of these points to come down? Well, there you go, a TV remote control car. Simpler to make, simpler connection, simpler coding, and of all, easy to transport. Well, check out this video right now to make this very interesting project, but with the same concept.